North Korea has marked the 63rd anniversary of the start of the Korean War. State television broadcast images of tens of thousands of people rallying in Pyongyang's main square to denounce the United States. Six, six decades after the war, tensions on the Korean peninsula remain high as North Korea's threatened missile strikes against the neighbor earlier this year. And protesters took to the streets once again in Brazil, demanding better services from the government. Around 500 people disrupted traffic during rush hour in Sao Paulo. Anti-government demonstrators have marred soccer's Confederations Cup currently taking place in Brazil. Authorities expect 100,000 people to protest when Brazil plays Uruguay later on Wednesday. And Chinese space capsule Zhenzhou 10 has returned to Earth. The three astronauts on board has been on the second manned mission to the Tiangong-1 space station. While in orbit, the astronauts conducted a number of docking tests and broadcast a live physics lesson even to school children back on Earth. And for tourists heading to the Eiffel Tower, some disappointment workers went on strike on Tuesday, closing the Paris landmark. Employees are unhappy over salary and other issues. No word yet on when the tower will reopen. And check out Taiwan's notoriously unruly lawmakers, fisticuffs here. They were at it again on Tuesday. Members of opposing parties scuffled for control of the podium in Parliament. The ruling KMT was trying to stop the opposition from revoking the capital gains tax. After several hours of deadlock and fighting, the lawmakers came to an agreement to ease the tax. The brawl came just a day after blind Chinese activist Chen Guangcheng had praised Taiwan's democracy as a model for the Chinese-speaking world.